so delicious. Mouth-watering, amazing German goodness. Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, my name is Jenna. I am a Canadian who has been living here in Germany since 2014. And for those of you who do know me, you might realize that I just chopped all my hair off. I did it. I am aware this cut might not suit me so well. I actually did it because I wanted to donate it, but I can tell you more about the process if you're interested here in Germany because it is super interesting. I am also in a very different room. It might sound a little bit echoey. I do have my mic today, so hopefully that makes things a little bit better. But I am here visiting Berlin. My family is here visiting me in Germany for the entire month of September. So we have done a lot of different things in Düsseldorf. We made a short trip over to Greece for a week to celebrate my 30th birthday, though I'm a little bit scared to admit it. I really loved my 20s and I loved saying that I was still in my 20s, but I'm officially 30. I have a mom haircut and I'm wearing a fishnet sweater, so things have changed. I've gotten older in the last couple weeks. <laughs> But I'm here in Berlin now. My parents are off doing a boat tour right now so I could awkwardly talk to myself in front of the camera here to talk to you about some of the reasons why you're never gonna leave Germany if you come here. The reason why I chose this topic today is because I'm with my parents and every day they're like, this is so interesting, oh, this is so amazing, oh, I'm really craving this again, can we go back here? <laughs> they just soak up the culture, they love the German culture, there's so many amazing things, so let's get to it. Okay, number one has gotta be the beer. I mean, that is super stereotypical, but I am being serious. When I go home and I'm drinking beer, it literally tastes like piss. It doesn't taste that good. So I actually don't drink beer when I go back to North America, whether I am in the States or I'm in Canada, it does not taste good. German beer, they taste different. And I'm not talking about craft beer. I do like craft beer, but I'm talking about like your basic Helles or Altbier or Pilsner or whatever. They all have very, very different tastes among brands. Whereas in Canada, I find that not many of them differ. They all taste relatively like. So we are here in Berlin. We had some delicious beer. We were able to actually sit in front of the Brandenburg Gate and drink our beer in celebration of this weekend's Berlin Marathon for 2021. So that was pretty cool. The number one reason for me particularly why I would not like to leave Germany is because of the price of food. Restaurant prices differ. I mean, we're in Berlin right now and you can get like a meal here for seven bucks and it's delicious. But when you go to the grocery store, when you go to the grocery store here in Germany, things are so cheap. I know that and I realize that, but then for example, when we were just in Greece a couple weeks ago and you look at the menu, the restaurant prices are cheap, but the groceries are very expensive. So the grocery stores here are extremely, extremely affordable. I mean, cheese, milk, flour, eggs, all of the staples, they're so cheap that you can really, really live well here and healthy here without going bankrupt. If you are living in Germany, is there anybody else who loves this cafe Kuchen culture here? Sometimes during the week, mostly on the weekend, mostly on a Sunday around 3 or 4 p.m., we might have coffee and cake. And I don't even drink coffee, I drink tea, but I'll drink my tea and I'll have my cake. And most Canadians will say, that's kind of strange to have cake before dinner, no? And it is a little bit strange. But I find that the German cakes here, they're a lot less sweet. So it's more, I don't even know how to compare it, but they're delicious. And if I have a choice between a cake or a pastry, I'm likely always going to choose a pastry. And when we're talking about baked goods, we also have to mention bread. German bread might be a bit strange for you when you first come here. So for my parents, the first day they got here, they were like, we'll go across the street to the bakery without you, don't worry. And they come back with all of the like Möbchen, you know, like those, um, I don't know, like Rosin Möbchen or Schoko Möbchen or plain Möbchen, whatever. And these are all very sweet breads. And I just laughed because they bought them all because they looked like the softest, like the least stale bread. But here in Germany, when you crack open a nice crispy Brötchen or something, it is very soft and delicious on the inside. So once you get used to that, guys, you never go back. Oh, just so delicious. Mouth-watering, amazing German 
goodness. So enough about food and drink. <laughs> Let me talk about the language for a second. I found it really tough to learn German. It's definitely not a walk in the park, but I do find that once you learn the language, it's really, really, ah, it feels great. It really does. And I think it's because I find that the Germans are really appreciative. So when we're speaking English, because they're not sure if I speak German or not, and they want to be kind and they like speaking English maybe. And then sometimes you'll find they have difficulty saying something in English and they'll say, is it okay, like, do you understand a bit of German? Can we switch? And I'll be like, yeah, yeah, alles klar, kein Problem. And then they'll switch and we'll be speaking in German and there's jaws just like <laughs> drop. They're like, oh my God, your German's so amazing. And even when it's not amazing, they still say it because they're so appreciative that you even know a few words in their language. I would never want to leave Germany because sometimes I go home for like three weeks. When I come back to Germany, I feel like I've already forgotten like 50% of the German I learned. So now I like really don't want to stay away from the country too long because I want to hold on to that. You know, I am proud that I learned the language and it is actually kind of fun to speak a foreign language, to speak German and to be able to have an actual conversation. I mean, at least it's fun when you do it like me, which is drinking at the pubs, you know, meeting new friends, binging on Netflix and taking online classes. I took my online classes with Lingoda. You've probably heard of them before. I should also say a very big thank you to them today uh, for being the sponsor of this video. But I have talked about them many, many times before. I talk a lot about their language sprints because I find them really, really cool. But the reason why I learned so well with Lingoda was because the classes themselves are only 60 minutes, they're on Zoom, and you meet people very much like myself. So people who are maybe afraid to make mistakes, but make the mistakes anyway and then giggle or joke about it afterwards and although the teachers are super qualified and very professional they're also very easygoing and will laugh along with us and I found for me that was so important because sometimes I'm not the most confident person when speaking a new language so for me that was absolutely like the number one reason why I had so much fun learning and because I was able to you know just book a 60 minute class right before I was about to pick my son up from Kita and be able to get it over with but then it wasn't necessarily getting over with it because I was actually enjoying it if that makes sense. So if you're anything like me and you think that this would be a really cool opportunity then let me tell you about their a la letzte very very last language sprint of 2021. If you are already one of the 40,000 people who have taken the language sprint before, then you already know it is definitely no walk in the park. It is really, really tough. So if you're one of those people that likes to slack or procrastinate and doesn't really get things done, then it might not be the right language challenge for you. Um, but if you're anything like me where I'm super organized, everything's in my notebook, I'm super anal about making sure that things are perfect, these challenges are really, really worth it. Why? Because I mean, not only are you pushing yourself to do something to achieve something that you want to do, like learn the German language, but you could also at the end get 100% of your cash back if you master the challenge. But if you haven't heard of the Lingoda language sprints before, it is an intensive language course where students are put to the challenge to take all of their classes within a three month period. They have super sprints and sprints. So depending on what works best with your schedule, you can either do a sprint, which is 15 classes for three months and get 50% of your cash back if you attend all your classes, or you can join their super sprint, which is 30 classes for three months and then get 100% of your cash back if you attend all of those classes. I mean, in my mind, it's the most genius marketing tactic ever, what they're doing. They say, you know, take intensive classes for three months for, for free, you know, if you attend all of your classes, it's genius. It's the best marketing tactic and then you jump on board, you fall in love with the classes like I did and then you are then a long-term customer in their normal classes moving forward until you get to B, C level, German, Spanish, French, English, English, business English, whatever you want to learn, doesn't necessarily have to be German, but for me learning German, this is the coolest way to learn it, <laughs> the best way to get your money back, and a really great marketing strategy from Lingoda. So important to know if you are planning on joining one of these two sprints, the signups will be available and online until October 15th. The classes start on October 31st and you can actually go and pick and choose your classes so that they fit your schedule. So whatever time zone you're in, you can actually make it work. It's not like they're saying you have to be there Monday to Friday from nine to 10 in the morning or something. You're actually picking those times and those schedules for yourself to make sure that they work with your itinerary. 
You will have to make a 49 euro deposit at the beginning of the course and then pay those three months in those monthly installments. But as I mentioned at the end of the challenge, if you are successful, you will get up to 100% of your cash back. So if you're ready to be a champion, you can join the very last Lingoda language sprints of 2021. You can also sign up using my link below. And if you use the voucher code CHAMP56, you can get 20 euros off your deposit when you first register. And PS, don't forget to read their terms and conditions or their frequently asked questions page before joining. I'm just spreading the word, guys. You can do the research. Have fun, learn some German or English or whatever, and let's get back into our video. Transportation. Transportation in Germany, in my mind, coming from North America, is absolutely fan freaking tastic I have been living here for seven years and I had a car before I moved to Germany, but I no longer need it. You can get from point A to B usually a lot easier on the transport than you can in a car. It of course depends where you're living. If you're living in a major city, for example, where I am right now in Berlin, there are trams that come like every three minutes. You can get everywhere and anywhere faster on a tram than you can in a car. Also, a lot of people wonder why Germans study so long and that is usually simply because their education system is free, which means they can go to university for a very long time, and they typically do. They do pay fees on like, I don't know, books. They pay like a standard semester fee where they typically might get a transit pass included or whatever, but nonetheless, the education system is very affordable, if not free. And I just think that this is amazing. And for me, for my family living here in Germany, I don't really want to leave because I want my son and my children to have the opportunity to also learn here for free because I know how hard it was for me to be able to make, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars to be able to pay off my university expenses. So I think that you can really dream big here in Germany. And that's also something that I think Germans really take for granted sometimes. We're getting to the end of this video, guys. I know it's a bit longer, but there are a lot of things, a lot of reasons why I am staying put here. I've talked about things that I love here in Germany. Those are a bit different than reasons why I would actually stay here. Another reason is definitely the healthcare system. We have a great healthcare system over in Canada, um, but for any fellow Americans, <laughs> you might really appreciate the healthcare system here in Germany. Otherwise, I've visited you know, 50 other countries and Germany does definitely have one of the best healthcare systems that I've seen, that I've experienced. I've been to hospitals in India, in Thailand, you know, and and of course, those are no comparison, but the healthcare system in Germany is quite fantastic. Despite that one experience that I had when I got stung by that wasp, I'll link that video up here if you guys want to cry with me. And my last two points have to do with travel. Travel opportunities here are endless. I was in Greece last week. I'm in Berlin this week. Tomorrow I'll take the Flix train back home. Then we'll take a camper bus back out to the Rakotsbrücke and the east of Germany. Like there is just so much opportunity. It is very easy to stay very, very busy and explore many, many beautiful different places. The landscape in Germany alone is so vast. You know, you've got these amazing, huge cities like Berlin where you'll find beautiful, you know, castles and, and amazing architecture and beautiful streams and, and rivers and whatnot, but the, you can also climb mountains, you can go to the Alps, you can see and experience so much here in Germany that it, it's just, it's incredible. Thank you, Germany. I love living here. I really appreciate being here and I'm very thankful and I hope this serves as a tribute to all of my German subscribers and I hope that this really helps all of the internationals who are planning on moving to Germany and wondering why would I not leave Germany? Well, I hope this helps and if you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, vielen, vielen lieben Dank und bis später.